All right, everybody. It's the keybind video. <laughs> Fuck keybinds. All right. In all seriousness, let's talk about some keybinds. So, uh, let's talk about the difference between what I use and what traditional keybinds are. So, traditional keybinds, I believe, are WASD. Um, this puts your hand really far to the left side of the keyboard. It doesn't give you access to a whole row of keys I believe that you could have access to. And if you're using uh, the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, for example, uh, using 2 and 3 takes your finger off the W key um, and also like rotates sometimes your fingers up a little bit more than you want uh, to press other buttons. So this is why I don't really like that. Whereas you use ESDF, you get a whole other row of keys to your left side that are really easy to access, like Q, A, Z, really easy to press. Um, and that's really where the ESDF really comes into play. You can still press Alt modifiers, Control modifiers, Shift modifiers. So you have 16 total keys typically with uh, WASD minus the two I like to discount, two and three. I don't really like them that much. And with ESDF, we have 20. We can kind of discount three and four uh, to a certain degree. Also, you can always just put keys that you don't really need to move there um, pretty easily, I guess, or other things like when I play WoW or whatever game, for example. Uh, I don't really use uh, 1 through 6 often as any important keys. Those are just things I might press like every 10 minutes or something. Nothing really quick and reactionary. Uh, all that relies on QWRT. What's really nice is like your index finger and your ring finger can press these buttons really quickly and you keep your hands really close to your movement buttons, which is very important, uh, I think. So that's why I really like ESDF, is you just get this whole extra row of buttons that are easy to press and fast to press with your uh, ring finger or pinky. You still have access to shift control alt. Uh, not much else to say really. I just think it gives you extra buttons that are really quick and easy to access. Um, now if you use like a Naga mouse or something, uh, you could probably stay with WASD because you don't need as many buttons to press. Whereas when I was playing WoW, if I had to use WASD, oh man, I'd have a lot of trouble with that. Um, whereas ESDF, you just, just extra buttons. That's all I really can say about that. Um, and you can avoid using two and three and counting those buttons. You have three and four. Uh, you have to discount. Um, and I think you should have a mouse pretty much with a few extra buttons. Like I use a G500. Uh, this gives me buttons, three thumb buttons and two like index finger buttons that I use. And then I still have the wheel up and down, uh, which is really good, especially like hunters. If you want to have your auto shot or back in the day or steady shot, you used to have that on that. You just wheel up and down all day. Um, so things like that. And you could have it as mouse click, um, but I don't really like that at all. Uh, I hate using the middle mouse button. I think it's a little clunky. Maybe that's just me and I'm not used to it, and some of you guys really are. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much my binds. So here's my Guild War 2 binds. Um, pretty uh, easy to understand. Uh, my skills are Q, W, R, T, and A for 1 through 5. And then for all the special class abilities, especially on Elementalist, you have the 4. I mean, I guess all classes pretty much have a lot except for... Warrior typically just has the one for their weapon. Uh, shift W, Shift Q, Shift R, Shift T in the same way uh, that it was one, two, three, and four. GHV really easy to press while in uh, ESDF. And V is your utility skills. B is your elite. Z quick, easy, pinky. X uh, rotate my ring finger down for that one typically. Um, C I bring my index for it. That's really easy to press. And then uh, of course I have uh, important things like dodge roll and uh, reset pan camera. I think that's really important to have an easy access because I like to pan my camera around and look what's behind me and see if there's following me. I can like world to world put on auto run or just hold run forward and look behind keep casting spells. Really nice. Uh, I learned that mostly from Dark Age of Camelot how important panning was and so having a, a reset camera button and not the like rotate automatically back uh, is very important because I hate the snapback feature that was in uh, World of Warcraft if you didn't use uh, like the free camera look as well uh, it just like doesn't give you time to like keep checking things so I really like to have a button I can control for that and and then I just uh, bind a few other things to my mouse like dodge roll and then I had a hero panel and inventory I still like hero panel on my mouse because I like to switch weapons sometimes really quick in between uh, combat uh, phases it's really good if you're using like scepter dagger and you want to switch the staff to get swiftness switch back to scepter dagger um, things like that, especially I know with like Crip on his uh, Ranger, he uses the Warhorn switch real quick, so he has to open up the buttons. Uh, that's really about it for the keybinds. So in WoW, I just pretty much have a little, I mean, since there's so many buttons to press, and you have like uh, 
help target macros or per certain people uh, macros or macros of targeting of targets and things like that. You just add like shift modifiers. I really like shift as my primary modifier. So I have like shift T, shift Y, shift G, H, all that. I love shift way more than anything. And um, that's really about it for uh, my keybinds. And I think they can apply to all games. And the ability to have your fingers on for QWRT I think makes a big difference. Hopefully this gives you a little more insight on how I use my keybinds. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.